Just a question, Auntie Celia. Yes. We are in this um, CMCO situation. Yes. And you have a very delicious Ping Pei Mooncake. Have you ever considered to do a delivery of business for this? Um, no, I can't. I think <laughs> that's incur a lot of manpower. Yes. Even Welcome back to our latest episode for Around the Couch. Today we will be talking about cultural night that was hosted by YM. And we are so glad that we can have a special guest with us here today as we talk about it. Uh, just a slight background for us of what cultural night is. Cultural night is a themed platform that was hosted by YM across uh, various condominiums with one purpose in mind. That is to reach out to neighbours, friends, families, that are staying near us. And today, at our episode, we are so glad and honoured that we can have Auntie Celia here with us. Auntie Celia is a very special person to us and also to three members of NYM, Tim, Sam and Scott. Auntie Celia is their mother. And <laughs> Auntie Celia, uh, we are really uh, thankful uh, for all that and appreciative for all that you have done for us, you know, you and your family have uh, generously given to us in abundance as well uh, of your time, you. energy, you. and resources. And so uh, today we just want to hear from you. Uh, how did you come to get involved uh, in Cultural Night uh, through YM? Okay, when I first uh, I attend FGA, my college big to bring me to attend to FGA Church. I've been quite touched by the young service that I like their performing and all that because you uh, can see they are happy, vibrant and they are already in that kind of fun place. I always wish to be in at this happy place. Mm. And at my back scene also, I wish my children can take part in futures when they are big. That's what they are doing now. And we are so glad to have you here, even as you journey together with us uh, through YM. Um, just want to hear from you. Uh, maybe you can share with us, you know, some of your involvement in the cultural night. Okay, at first uh, beginning when uh, I think Pastor Anand approached us, of course, uh, whether I'm interested to take part or not. So. Of course, um, I've been quite blessed. I got a good uh, neighbor, Auntie Sally, able to share with me about an uh, idea how to run about a culture night mm. and to search online, looking for ideals. Mm. And one of it is like, uh, we are looking for how to do the mooncake. Yeah, that's how we get the recipe. And we get uh, sauces from a lady fellowship to help out on uh, us on that. And I even though reach out to my home fellowship Kaki ladies to help YM because they are excited to help a young people and full of energy and the kind of joy that we can see. Yeah, and we feel that uh, we need to back out the young. <laughs> Yes. And, and, we are, and we are so thankful for all the help, you know, you all coming in together, working with us, uh, in cooperation with us. It really brought a lot of excitement for us. Uh, it was really Thank an exciting you. time for us during the cultural night. Um, and we just want to know, you know, we have so many themes uh, for cultural night. Which is your favourite one? I think if... The th I think it should be the Mooncake Festival that I... We spent a lot of time, mm. effort, and we created a lot of creative ideas in such a way that we are using a Ping Pei skin to be frozen out yeah. to make our own skin recipe that we are able to do it on spot. So everyone able to take back home, as you see in the picture, as the yeah. mooncake, uh, uh, Ping Pei mooncakes. Yeah. So even though till now I still got people to call me 
to, to uh, say that they would like to have another section to be continued on again. That's part of the joy that I'm having, even though my family, my friends, we still think about that. Just a question, Auntie Celia. Yes. We are in this um, CMCO situation, yes. and you have a very delicious Ping Pei Mooncake. Have you ever considered to do a delivery of business for this? Um, no, I can't. I think <laughs> that's incur a lot of manpower. Yes. Even though we got the nightman to uh, prepare all the paste, all the skin, yeah. we need to steam, we need to make the dough that, yeah. with Auntie Sally. I'm quite thankful that. Auntie Sally gave me a full support onto it. Yeah. Even though day and night we are having a big hoo ha and quarrel <laughs> onto it. But I think at the end of the day we are happy. Yeah. Yes. And, and I, I think I speak for everyone here as well. It was really a memorable night for everyone at every cultural night, at every condo that, uh, that we hosted it at. And um, just really want to hear uh, a personal experience from you. Um, you know, you were one of our hosts uh, at the cultural night. Um, and I'm wondering, uh, how was it for you personally to, to be hosting the cultural night? Of course, it's not easy for me, mm. but I'm quite thankful that it's like we're helping our YMs. Um, all the friends and the ladies that who giving a full support, but I think at the end of the day, is we would like to share a grace of God. I mean, for us, it's like, for me, it's think about culture night. It's just a small thing for us to run about. Yeah, but because it's, even though it's small, but it's, I think it's, it's just a little small, but it's easier to, to do it when we are together. Mm. So I'm, I'm glad that we are doing it. Then we are able to share the back scene of what grace about mm. and reach out to the non-Christian. Friend. Mm, mm. I think you really hit the key here, Auntie Celia, that the whole point when we did this cultural night was really the heart that uh, we want to continue to reach out to people all around us, not just our friends yes. uh, and families, but also our neighbours and even yes. colleagues at our workplace where we actually invited them to come and join us. Yes. And uh, although we are in such a situation now, uh, you know, and, and cultural night is not really taking place currently, um, but we need to take back from this is that we do not lose this heart, right? That we, no matter where we are, you know, we will always make God known to our friends, you know, that we share Him uh, into their situation as well. And so thank you very much once again, Auntie Celia, for sharing this with us and being a part, you know, in this journey together with us in YM. Thank you, Sikting. And so this is our uh, latest episode for Around the Couch. Do stay tuned for the next one.